what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today i got another video for you i'm starting on a whole new project and this is going to be a whole series on this new diy project that i'm making right now pretty excited for this one right now um as you can see i got a igloo cooler right here and uh some of you might kind of got an idea of what i'm about to talk about but um we're going to convert this into a ice fishing shuttle for my nine inch graph. Um, I've seen a couple videos uh, online where they've used more of the, uh, I can't think of the little, little like handle boxes or whatnot, uh, little crates. And I think it's a great idea, but I just had this laying around in the garage and I only used it like twice last year really just to use it for you know beverages and food and things like that on trips so I figured why not I'm gonna try to finesse it my my way and um, kind of show you guys uh, what I'm gonna do with it and whatnot so um, ultimately it's gonna be for the mega live and using um, the nine inch graph uh, which is pretty fairly heavy I see a lot of guys on there um, have the seven inch graphs on some of those uh, those little crates can't even think of the word of them the little uh, uh, can't think of the name, name. anyways uh, so I wanted to show you guys kind of a part one of what I got going on right here and how I'm gonna convert this all into a manageable and easy way of getting this out on the ice and uh, I think it's an awesome idea so far. Um, I'm still kind of working out some of the uh, the bugs on it and making sure everything's pretty secure and things like that. But first off, before I take the camera off the um, tripod, you can see right here I have the Mega Live, and this is the Fisher mount. So this is actually built for my Kobe kayak um, for open water season. So most coolers like here, you know, this one has wheels and stuff like that on it. Um, you've got a handle at the top. Um, and the only time this lid is gonna be closed is when I'm transporting it onto the ice or off the ice or going from spot to spot. So I figured I was going to put some grips, some kind of latches or something right here. Um, then I was like, you know what, there's no point for me to drill it in anymore, um, or in general, just to drill it in. So I thought about these little lock ties. It's here when you're walking by, uh, going from spot to spot, and you're kind of you know, leaning it back to use the wheels to go from spot to spot. So I think this is a, a better option instead of drilling into this. I really don't want to have to drill into it as much, um, which I already did and I'll show you that in just a moment. But but I like this a lot right here. It's here um, and then even for this, I plan on doing it, doing it on the other side right here. I'm gonna put some kind of little notch right here, cut it out, a little square, notch it out, and then that way, when the lid is closed, the wiring can hang out um, out of the box from the battery, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and you can travel with it, things like that. Um, and then you're, you're kind of you're, you don't have anything in your hand besides holding the handle and pulling your sled out to the ice. So I like this idea a lot. Um, and it holds it in place, so it's, it's awesome. So I'm gonna take this off real quick and then show you guys. All right, so like I said, I got these lock ties right here that are gonna stay um, right here on this handlebar. And uh, those will be obviously for the pull mount and uh, keeping it attached from going to spot to spot or getting on or off the ice. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys, do this one, one hand, 
So you open it up, obviously like the handle obviously will be down. Um, so then the lid can kind of reach back a little bit farther, but I want to put a GoPro mount right here. Um, maybe like some kind of like bus sticky mounts that they have um, and attach that right here somehow and kind of get that forward facing view of uh, us fishing in a shanty or myself or if I'm by myself or whatnot. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys is here is my battery box right here. This is mainly used for open water when I'm on my kayak. And I got an amped outdoors, uh, 32 amp hour battery. And it's mobile, so it's nice to be able to take it in and out of my kayak. Um, SE um, fittings for charging it and displaying all the power to the graph and the Mega Live. But also, I have put a Yak Tech Lock and Go, um, I think that's what it's called, um, on the gear track system right here. This is a little four inch gear track, um, super nice. And have that on here, along with a little bit of angle brackets that I put on here. Um, kind of just use some really smaller nails, I mean screws, drill into them. And then uh, now the box fits securely in there. No need to drill into the sides of the box because I'm going to be taking this out in and out to charge and obviously for open water season two when that comes back in. All right, so I pulled the nine inch graph out here and I wanted to show you guys how I got this adjusted. It's balanced very well with being able to hover over the, bo the battery box and it sticks out just enough um, outside here. Obviously we're not gonna be closing it or anything like this. Um, that's not what it's for. You know, with the GoPro, it's gonna be shooting out this way. And uh, I think it's just an awesome setup right now. This whole um, cooler is not gonna be moving. It's gonna be in one place. And then when I do need to transport to go to another spot or whatnot, I simply just unlock it, pull it off, um, obviously put the cover back on it and I can stuff it down right here, shut it and then head to the next spot. Super convenient. Um, as far as the mega live transducer and the pole and whatnot, all this wiring and everything will be inside here. I'm going to somehow attach it on the back wall of this. It'll all be stuffed in here nicely and organized. It's not going to be just a complete mess. Um, but I'm gonna put some kind of little notch right here. It might go down to this little gray area right here where it meets. Cut it out about two inches, inch and a half. Cut all that out. So then when you close it, all the wiring feeds out. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Obviously this looks like a mess right now and it's <laughs> I'm just kind of showing you guys how everything will be hooked up. Um, obviously with everything plugged into the battery box and then the um, connection for the graph and everything going into that. Um, this will sit on the outside with a little bit more cable out here. You'll drill your hole like so, exactly where the transducer is. And then, you know, this is gonna be open. The lid is gonna be open so I think having an eight inch hole right next to it with this much wiring out, I could probably take some of that out a little bit and have it unwrapped a little bit more um, just because we'll be kind of turning it and things like that. But literally when you get done, there'll be a little notch right there. You'll shut it. That to stow it just like that the handlebar will come up you know and then you just tie it lock it in place and then you're good to go so um, this is a uh, part one um, 
video of how I'm kind of rigging this thing up. I have tons of time because we still don't have ice up here in Michigan, so um, kind of figured some things out. And I will uh, put a part two video up here soon when I start getting everything in. But hope you guys like this video and uh, please share and subscribe, like the video if all possible. Comment down below if you guys have any ideas for this. <clears throat> thinking about putting some uh, LED strips in here too to kind of um, lighten it up in here or whatnot if I'm going early in the morning and uh, you know possibly fitting a little couple tackle crates in here you know kind of smaller ones or whatnot kind of utilize that as much as possible so um, other than that I'm all set here appreciate you guys logging on I'll talk to you guys soon see you in the next one